Hello and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Taking a look at the U.S. dollar-yen pair here this week, uh, you can see that it's been in a pretty steady downtrend, but I actually expect that this will continue. You can see last week we had this big sell-off with the uh, the Bank of Japan coming out with the, the, the rate statement and also the FOMC announcement, which was, was more or less a non-event. It was really the uh, the Bank of Japan statement that, that trumped uh, the the FOMC so with that you can see here we had a nice two-day move lower which actually broke under this prior support and the timing of it really was was perfect I say that because as you can see here uh, we had this move up this rally higher throughout this particular week here and uh it led us right into the resistance to the left, right? You can see here we moved up into the prior breakdown area, which we know is where sellers are going to step up. And sure enough, as I said, the timing was perfect. And we got this big washout type move lower, which coincided with the, the Bank of Japan statements. Um, so with that said, where are we now? Well, we broke under this support level, so that suggests that, that supply is still strong, that the trend is still intact, and that we should look for price to continue moving lower. However, the question is always lower to where, or higher to where if the case were to be. Uh, so you have to look at the larger time frames to gauge what kind of movement is possible. And so looking here at the weekly chart, you can see again, nice head and shoulders type top up here, breakdown. And by the way, I actually highlighted this, this move lower uh, back when it happened and was saying that we should be looking for a move down towards this prior pivot low around, oh, call it the... Uh, you know the 100 area um, may, maybe this bottoming tail gives us a little bit of of a stall around 104 103 and a half what have you but this lower area around 100 is really kind of going to be the line in the sand so we're we're well on our way to that you can look back at at the prior videos to to see that but in any case getting back to the question lower to where well, as you can see, there is room for this to move lower on the weekly. It's not extended. And if anything, we've just negated a prior green candle. And this isn't just any kind of small green candle. This was a pretty potent candle which negated not one but two prior weeks. Uh, however, the flip side of that was, again, it took us right up into this breakdown area where as they should sellers came back in and completely engulfed that green bar so that tells us that the supply side is still very much in control and that we want to look for price to continue moving lower so again lower to where well on on the the bottom end of the spectrum here down towards as i said the 100 area and just to to follow that up you look at the monthly chart and this really is just getting underway you can see here going back to you know mid to late 2012 we had a, a rally higher that lasted into 2015 and so I'm not suggesting that we're gonna necessarily come all the way back down to those levels but looking at the monthly you know, here's your month one igniting the move lower breaking down month two was just a consolidation month and here we have it now month three continuing or following through to that prior breakdown so there's still at least another month or two at least that's my opinion in in this downward move and then we'll have to see what happens as we come into this support here around as i said that 100 area because that's going to be a significant level that will be a key level where longer term traders will look to start stepping up um if not right now, I mean, we are into this area, but I just expect that with the weakness, with the reversal that we saw last week, we get at least a bit more downside in this. Um, and so 
going back to the daily here, I think it's fair to start looking for some kind of retracement to get short or maybe a consolidation to look at shorting. But I wouldn't be looking to get long here. Do, do we have the potential to get a bounce? Absolutely. And to the degree that you might look to do that would be for intraday opportunity only. You know, if you can get some kind of intraday uptrend to establish itself, then you could look to play it long for just that short term opportunity. But the bigger opportunity, in my opinion, is going to come when and if we get either that retracement or the consolidation sideways and then looking for that continued move to the downside. That'll be the longer term play. That'll be the longer term opportunity. So um, with that being said, you know, for for the week in general, it's shaping up to seem maybe similar to last week where there's not necessarily going to be a whole lot of overall movement. It might be a bit of a, a consolidation type of week. Uh, so for that reason, you're, you're going to need to be a little more nimble, a little more cautious. But again, do understand that these these longer term opportunities may be setting themselves up. And another one, even uh, not that I'm going to get into right here and now, but uh, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, that recovered nicely. That has some nice room to the upside. So maybe looking to play that one long if you can find a nice spot would would be um, would be ideal as well. So with that, you know, if you have any pairs that you'd like me to discuss in future videos, you can make those comments down in the comment section below. If you have any questions at all, for that matter, you can again do so in the comments section below. But until the next time, guys, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident, and we will talk again soon.